This video is brought to you by Biznet. For more information, go to biznet.com.au. In the last video, we looked at how you could manually move elements around a pivot table. In this video, we're going to look at how to do it automatically. So let's go back to the pivot table that we were using. And just to recap on uh, what we were discussing in the last video, I'm just going to change the size here so that you can see this happening. Okay. Um, before, we were grabbing elements and moving them around to show that you could manually sort the elements in any, in any order you like. What we're going to do in this uh, next one, actually, I'm just going to move that over a bit more. There we go. Um, is we're going to do this automatically. So let's double click on the dimension name and you'll see there's a button here called advanced and here you've got the auto sort option. So currently it's on manual. I'm going to change it to ascending event name and what this will do is put in alphabetical order these elements within the dimension. So you can see here that these elements A, D, M, R, W have been sorted alphabetically. Um, more interestingly though, you can also sort this based on sum of hours. So if we go for descending sum of hours, what we'll see is the elements um, that we've done most of the work on are at the top, 0.3 of an hour. And as you can see, they're then descending into lower hours. Uh, and therefore what we've got here is in a couple of seconds, we're able to look at our top performing um, elements, in this case, items or events within an activity.